Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Declan, and you're watching the Kiwi Boys. I'm currently walking with my mum. Say hi, mum. Hi. Yeah, we're currently walking up a small mountain. Now, I'm not an avid walker, so when going for walks like this or anything mildly difficult that I don't really feel like doing, I have a saying to motivate myself. A simple one-liner that goes, for those who can't. Okay, so we've just completed the easy bit, and now we're looking at our hard part. Very steep, little narrow, rocky path. It's not looking, it doesn't look treacherous, but it is definitely steep. I can confirm that path was very steep. Anyway, back to what I was saying, that quote for me holds so much weight. It reminds me that even though walking up this path is killing my legs, I get to have that feeling. What I mean by that is there's someone out there who would give anything to be able to do what I'm doing. To be able to feel lactic acid building up in their legs. To be able to take in this beautiful view and get rewarded by the shade of this cashew nut tree. All right, so we've just arrived into the shade of a cashew nut tree. And far out, if this thing had smell vision it would be stinking up your house right now. We were first introduced to these last year in an island called Koh Phayam, up north of Thailand. All right, I'll try some of that one then. Yeah. Oh, oh. there it goes. <laughs> oh, Dicklin's yeah. into it. I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'll pass. I don't know what that tastes like. It's, it's, it's a, just a gentle pineapple-y. And uh, yeah, they have got a very pungent smell, quite recognisable. And this is it here. So on the bottom of this fruit is the cashew nut, and then above the cashew nut is the fruit. The fruit is edible, but the cashew nut is actually poisonous until they've roasted it and then gotten rid of all those toxins that are inside. Yeah. It's, got, it's got two shells, and in between the first and second shell there's like a layer of poison. I guess to ward off any predators. These things here are strange. I've had them one time. I don't know if I want this one. I don't know how long it's been sitting out. But they are very juicy. But when you eat it, it feels like it's drying out your mouth. It's a really weird feeling. But yeah, that's cashews. So here we are. Made it to the top of the mountain. I can see the path that we walked up. You can see how steep it actually was from here. Looks pretty impressive actually. I can see the boat. I can see a whole way out to sea. A couple of islands. I reckon that was worth it. No sooner do we arrive that we start heading back down. And I think it's in the shade most of the way as well. Is that right? Yep. Good walk. Nice little break at the top. Taking the view. Heading home. Basically, for those who can't means enjoy every day and everything, because there will be a day when you can't. Okay, so we've been back from our walk this morning for a little while. I've just been kind of chilling out, did a bit of editing, and then I remembered that it's the end of the month today. And so I'm meant to be doing as many push-ups as I can. Because there's this guy on Instagram, and at the end of every month, he sets a global push-up goal. And at the end of this month, he set it for 300,000 push-ups. And I forgot, but then at 3.30 I remembered. And so now I'm trying to make up on lost time. Currently I'm at 300 push-ups. <laughs> Going strong. When we were walking back down the mountain this morning, I stubbed my toe bad. Not sure if it's broken, it's probably not broken, but it really hurts. And so it's making doing these push-ups that much more challenging. But came to play. So here we go.
go, that's another 40. I think I might have to start backing off and do them in the 20s and 30s. I'm actually quite sore on my wrist. Really? Yeah. Push ups. I've just hit 500, which is my minimum for today, so that's good. I would love to hit a thousand, but I did start at 3.30, so we'll see what we can do with that. What? When did you guys get here? Okay, so yesterday I finished my push-up challenge. My arms are pretty sore today. My total push-up count came to... 704. I kept track of all the push-ups that I did. So as you can see there it went 120, 40, 40, 40, what does that say? 60, 40, 20, 10, 15, 25. I marked it when I got to 500 so that I could keep track of it a bit easier. Yeah, and then there's the last from 500 to 704. And the reason why I did 704 was because when I was at 680, I just wrapped out that last 20 and then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna see how many more I could do. I could only do four more. And then my arms just wouldn't do anything else. So yeah, I think that's pretty good for starting at 3.30 in the afternoon. It means I did 704 push-ups in about seven hours. So I was doing roughly 100 push-ups an hour. Yeah, yeah, actually no, it is. I was doing 100 push-ups an hour. So I think that's not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, you'll probably see me do this again. It happens at the end of every month, so. My arms are sore. When I was doing the last 50 or so last night, when I finished off, I'd like straighten out my arms and I could feel my triceps starting to cramp up. So yeah, that was a sign that I was pretty done. But yeah, 704, I think that's good. Just for gits and shiggles, let's see how many push-ups I can do right now. I was only 20. Yesterday when I started doing the push-ups, I was doing like 40. 50 even, I think. That was my best yesterday. Oh, I can't even hold the camera, my arms are so tired. 